We've all had this. You get to your trolley, you need your trolley to get your shopping, but you've not got a pan coin on your or a key fob. You don't need them. Everyone's got a door key. If you've got a door key that's just like this, like one of these yell sort of ones or whatever these things are called, plop it in there, give it a little bit of a push, and we're open and we're away to do our shopping with our door key sticking in there. Just don't remember to forget to get that out at the end of the day after you've done your shopping or you ain't getting into your ass. Wow. 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 <laughs> Read that, Vincent. Look, mate, I've got these. What are these? Look Did at them. These? Brand new. Look at them. Wagon. So, wagon wheels have done tea cakes. Get us one out and then done. Jammy Be tea cake. Jammy tea cake. I think someone's already wagon opened wheel. them. Oh. What's. There's none left. You know what? I have not. You I haven't got one. I did. I've got one. You're missing out. Oh. It tastes like a wagon wheel, but in the shape of a tea cake. Well, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Oh, nice, that would. Gingerbread flavour porridge. Coming soon to our channel. Porridge with gingerbread. But it is nearly Christmas. I don't know if that's uh, going to be nice at all. I'm not looking forward to that. Kel, pass us a bake well tart. Thank you. What's that? What's that like the smallest bake well tart in the world? It ain't even a full cherry, it's an half of a cherry. Actually, I'll have an apple pie. Oh, what's that? Another life trolley hack. You don't need a key, you ain't got a key, you ain't got a pan. 220 piece. Don't work. So we know all the Christmas mince pies are out at the moment. Every shop selling their mince pies. The award winning ones that me and Val will have a review coming out of soon. We've tested them. I finally got hold of them. They're from Spa. Of all shops, Spa won the best mince pie of the year. And I think it was um, a BBC good food or thing or something. But in the full review, me and Val do it. He's coming soon. The Spa mince pies will be tested. Are they the best? This year? Or have they paid for the award? We'll soon find out. It's a morning walk and I was just pondering that age old question. If a tree falls down in a forest, does it make a sound? And it got me wondering about other unanswerable questions. Like, if a dentist has got toothache, does he treat himself? And if you're a barber or a hairdresser and you need hair cut, who cuts your hair? Morning walk thoughts. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. What load of old rubbish. I don't like Sundays. Tell me why I don't like Sundays. I'll tell you why. Ironing. School uniform. Nobody likes Sundays. Nobody who's got kids at school and has got to do all the ironing and the uniform ready like Sundays. Tell me why I don't like Sundays. Adam said I've got to film some shorts. So we've got some just everyday tracksuit styles, you know, like jogging bottoms. So you've got everyday sort of shorts there. I don't know why he wants a video of shorts, but he said film some shorts. So there's some everyday ones here. We've got some bright, nice swimming shorts. They look good when you're on the beach. Bright orange pair. And then a leery pair. And then the only other pair I've really got that ain't similar is these. These are just every day. It's a bit of paint. So these are what I wear when I'm decorating. So that's just a selection of shorts. I'm hoping he's going to do a video of shorts. So you've got more shorts. 
one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, sweet potato, seven potato, more. I don't know how the rest of it goes, if I'm brutally honest, but it's a song about potatoes. Look at the state of my hair. Can you even hear me? I'm right next to a busy road. The reason I'm here, I'm waiting for Adam to pick me up. He's late again. He's late again. He's late again. He's always late. He never turns up on time. Now he's just sent me a voice message and it'll probably say, he's late. I know he's late. He's always late. Victorian sponge from Marks and Spencers in the shape of a muffin with a little bauble on top. I've never seen nothing like it in my life. Oh, that's where it went. It's my uh, Christmas yum nut from Marks and Spencers. Wow. gift from Adam's wife. I have no idea what's in here. I think it's some sort of cake. New cake mould she's got apparently. Look at that. Look at that. Might as well see what it tastes like. Mmm. Delicious. I bet you can't guess what's in my centre console. The centre console's right there. How many I'll... items? One item. Try to guess it. Face mask. No. Nope. How many guesses do I get? Five. Vape. No. Nope. A charger. No. Nope. A Snickers. No. Nope. One more guess. One more guess. A can of Diet Coke. No. Nope. A sausage roll! Hey! <laughs> I'm starving. The Caliburn G. From you, well, sent to me from New Vaping. Review of this will be coming up later today. Look at that, Caliburn G. Is it worth the hype? We'll find out later. We wish you a merry coffee. We wish you a merry coffee. We wish you a merry coffee and a coffee new year. You ain't coffee. And it's going to be a double bill. There's another 88 vape, brand new e-liquid out. Review of this will be coming up soon. Let's have a look at this one. We've got another brand new flavour this week coming from 88 vape. Exotic swell. Look at that exotic swell from good old 88 vape. In a short fill, 75% VG. Here we are on the 88 vape shelf. This is my, I've got a double shelf here, but I've got a, a box full down here as well. This is products that are going to be reviewed soon from 88 vape e-liquid specialists. But I've got a couple of new ones out. Here's the first one. Brand new flavour from 88 vape. Melonade. Look at that bottle of that melonade there. 75% VG. 
on the melonade. This brand new, look at this. Truffled egg and honey roast ham. It looks like it's got a whole egg in it. I don't know, I'm gonna eat that. That's how we eat that egg. Just like that, down in one. They always say, don't put bananas in a fruit bowl with other fruit. And you wanna know why? Because it does this to them. Look at that, completely perfect. Whatever that is, orange sort of thing, completely ruined. Don't put bananas in the fruit bowl.